Hi there, I'm Glenn, the glass guy. Now, windows need to stand the test of time, and to do that, they need to be durable. So as a result, the components inside the window, like the spacer, need to be durable too, don't you think? In fact, the more durable a spacer is, the better it is at gas retention. Much like this propane tank's job is to keep the gas safely contained, the spacer in between a double or triple pane window is designed to do the same thing. In between the panes of glass is an invisible insulating gas such as argon or krypton. However, the gas molecules naturally will look for any place to escape, especially at the corners. A special sealant is used to bond the spacer to the edges of the glass to create a tight seal. With the intercept spacer, the continuous metal and sharp bent corners combine with the sealant to provide a strong moisture and vapor barrier that prevents the gas from escaping. When a foam spacer is used, it's often placed in between the glass by hand and often lacks structural integrity, especially at the corners. Now, to be fair, a sealant is used to hold the foam spacer in place. Over time, however, the window's constant expansion and contraction leads to stress and separates the sealant from the spacer. This creates gaps for the gas to escape. Let's take a closer look at one more thing to see which material is more durable. First, let's put a stainless steel spacer under a microscope and see what we discover. Hmm, looks pretty impermeable, doesn't it? Now let's put the foam spacer under the microscope and see if we can spot any differences. Wow, look at that. As you can see, it looks rather porous. Which one do you think will last longer and provide a better defense against escaping gas? That's right, I'd say stainless. One last thing. Remember those foam footballs you had when you were a kid? When you first got it, it was soft, shiny, and it looked great. But what happened if you left it in the garage all winter, or better yet, outside where it was exposed to the elements? Just look. It's pitted and hardened and really hasn't held up very well. You see, when exposed to the elements, foam just isn't as durable.